welcome back. We're here at Festival of the Holidays. It's rainy. I'm on my phone right now. We'll pull out the camera later if it, it gets more dry. I have no idea. I'm not prepared. So let's go get a passport and decide what foods we want to try. But yeah, it is drizzling. <laughs> so we'll see what we get done. Here is this year's passport and it is running from November 24th to December 30th. I'm sad it's, it's so short this year. This is one of my favorite festivals. Anyway, in here, we've got Holiday Hearth Desserts in the Odyssey Pavilion which Caleb really wants to try everything from this menu. So we might try to go here first, but there's a ton of good food. So I'm gonna look through this and kind of see what I wanna try today, obviously. We'll be back a ton of times, but for now I'm just gonna look through these and see what I would like to try and make a game plan. We're stopping by Las Posadas in Mexico and I'm gonna get the Dulce de Leche Churro. Here it is, the Christmas churro. Well, it's not a Christmas churro. I'm just calling it a Christmas churro. It's a Dulce de Leche churro. Oh. That is very good. It's very fa la 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 la. Makes you wanna say ho ho ho. <laughs> it is hot. It is hot. It's got like um, it's got like a filling inside. It's really good. Okay. Would recommend. It's hot. It comes hot, so be careful. But it's great. Okay, the churro. Honestly, ten out of ten. I'm not even gonna lie. That's the best churro I've had on Disney World property. It was like crispy on the outside and like soft on the inside. I loved it. It was so good. Six point eight. <laughs> okay. Well, take that as you will. We're stopping by Bavaria, the Germany pavilion, to grab some food. Here is the pork schnitzel. It came with red cabbage and, um, I forgot, I forgot how to say these in English. It's like the hand noodles, like the egg noodles we make by hand. And Caleb got the linzer cookie. Beautiful. I mean, it's good. The portion sizing is just very disappointing. Specifically because I know and honestly, it might even be a little too thick for a schnitzel. But other than that, the outside is crispy. The mushroom sauce is delicious. The egg noodles are noodling. And the red cabbage, actually, no, they're not. The egg noodles are kind of dry. Maybe like a five out of 10. Tuscany in Italy pavilion and we are going to get a couple of things from here. I think we're gonna get the Montanara and the Dolce pizza. Yep. Sorry. Oh my god. I'm that make, that makes my wallet hurt. Okay, here's the Montanara. These are like little shapes. They're cute. And then this fried is pizza. the fried they're like cinnamon balls, right? A fried pizza dough. With, with sugar and sugar. cinnamon. Is it worth the money? <laughs> Absolutely not. You can make this at home. This one is. Mm hmm Because it's cheaper and it's it's good. This was nine dollars for four of these. That is so expensive. How much was that? Seven fifty. That's still a lot. You volunteered to pay for this one. I know. Because I'm a nice person. Oh, it's softer. Yeah, these are good. They're fine. You can definitely pass though. It literally just tastes like pizza. And the other one I'm sure just tastes like dough with sugar on it. So it's not like mind-blowingly crazy that you have to try it this festival. So I would honestly pass on this one. So this what you can do instead of getting these mm -hmm. for how much? $9? You can just take a walk right down here around the World Showcase. And get yourself a big pizza. Around the World Showcase. Pop out of that cot, walk <laughs> over to the boardwalk, head over to the little pizza window and get two big slices for like maybe five dollars more than this. Yeah, the sugary one, as I expected or suspected, was literally like a churro, but it was so much worse than the, the like the I like the other churro, the actual churro better. I wasn't a fan. All right, we're back on the camera. It stopped raining officially. I'm hoping it keeps dry but Caleb just tried the gingerbread cookie from the America Pavilion which is where I'm at and he said it wasn't his favorite he said it was a little bit dry I'm allergic to ginger so I don't eat gingerbread but 
Just thought you would know, or you should know, in case you are interested in the cookie stroll or the gingerbread cookie. Epcot every year or every season does like a different stroll. And this year is a cookie stroll for Festival of the Holidays. And if you go around getting at least five cookies and you get it stamped in the back of your passport, you get a prize at the end. Also, check out that Christmas tree. The Epcot ball is a candy cane. It's so pretty. All right, um, honestly, we're gonna call it for today. I'm really full and I couldn't eat anymore. The dough, all the dough things we had were super filling today. I'm excited to go around and look at all the Christmas decorations later. We're definitely gonna come back a bunch here and I'm also going to be taking you to a bunch of other parks for all their Christmas stuff and the Christmas snacks, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love y'all. Make sure you subscribe for more content. Have a wonderful week and a magical month and I'll see y'all in the next one.